Best Buy, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're nothing but liars and thieves. And we want all of our viewers, you guys share this with hashtag Best Buy because we want them to know what a scammy company they are. Okay guys, Michael is hopping mad. So we have had nothing but problems with stupid Best Buy. Don't ever go to Best Buy, it's a gyp joint. Don't ever no. buy from Best Buy again. The funny thing is when Best Buy first came out, we bought a lot of stuff from them and I haven't been buying it for a lot of years because they've ripped us off before. But we bought a microwave about three years ago. We bought the extended warranty, which in my opinion is overpriced and you should never buy an extended warranty from anyone on anything really, well almost. But Best Buy especially is a complete ripoff. Their extended warranties are how they're making money by selling you junk and then they send you the warranty. What's happened with this is we bought this microwave three years ago with their extended Geek Squad warranty. And after like a year, it failed, completely failed. And I tried, I have email chain that I was looking at to find out now. I Right there. I contacted, I had this email saying, I've spoken with your store, blah, 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 um, that I've, I think I said, it's been take. it failed four months after we purchased it, I've had I've tried to contact you a bunch of times, blah, blah, blah. And at that time, I had to go to a high level person in order to get them to honor the Geek Squad warranty so that I had paid for. Okay, so hold on. So we bought the microwave three years ago. Four, Four months, months after we bought it. After we bought it. It failed. It totally died. And then I had to make lots of calls and talk to people, and they told me I had to have a repair, and it failed again right away. So I had to go through this huge ordeal to so talk to... So twice we had to no, have... No, this the was same... the first time. Yeah, yeah. okay. So yeah, twice. Yeah. So first they repaired it, then... It broke again. Right away, it broke again. And I had to go through a big argument with a whole bunch of managers online in order to get them to agree to trade it out. So I, and I paid for their overpriced warranty. <laughs> and this was just a short time after we bought it. So I took it in and traded it out. Now, so we traded it out in December 2018. So about a year and a half ago. Again. So, so and, and we had to drive. Two hours, miles each two way. hours, eat round trip because they didn't have it at the store by us. So, so that was December of 2018. So in January of 2020, it failed again. So we contacted them and, oh, well, actually I didn't contact them right away. I contacted them in March um, because what failed was a door handle broke. So the door handle is just hanging on by one screw. And so I contacted them actually in February. And at that time they were saying, well, you have to wait until March. So I, I contacted them in March and then they said, COVID, COVID. So been, so they just put me off at that time. They didn't even take my information. So eventually I contacted them again. Um, let's see, in June, I talked to them and they said, oh sure, no problem. We're gonna send somebody out to your house to fix it. So they set up a repair thing and we went through the whole thing and I had to deal with a repair company multiple times and they were supposed to come out on a Monday. Well, Sunday, I got an email from them saying, oh, oops, this is a low value item. We weren't supposed to send out a repair team. So now you have to contact this other number. So I contact the other number and they tell me, oh, yeah, we're just going to give you an authorization to return it and trade it out for another one. So a long time went by and I never got any message from them. Okay. I'm just going to assume it got lost in the email. So I, so they resend me a new email. Then that says I have to contact yet another person. <laughs> so I've contacted the store. I contacted the repair place. Then they sent me to a Geek Squad place. They sent me to another Geek Squad place that eventually sent me this email after I had to call a second time to get the email. And now the email says, call this other Geek Squad exchange department, I think. Anyway, so... I call that number. It's a corporate number. It's for their corporate headquarters. And they tell me, 
Well, when you bought that microwave, it was $200, but now it's $250, so you can get it. Um, you'll have to buy the warranty again because, well, now the warranty's used up. Like, it's used up, but it didn't last the whole three years it was supposed to last. So, but it's used up, so now I have to buy a brand new warranty if I want a warranty on it. Because the warranty doesn't expire till 2021 on this one. And so then, uh, then they said, oh, and by the way, that microwave now costs $250 for the exact same microwave. So now you have to pay $50 more plus the new policy, which is overpriced to begin with. Those policies aren't even worth it, guys. Don't ever buy an extended warranty. I've had to argue with them since March. You've okay. spent like 30 or 40 hours dealing and with this. So finally they tell me I have to pay for a new warranty. I have to pay $50 more for the exact same product. And I'm like, you guys should just trade out the exact same product. Since I have a warranty where your company is saying I warrant that this device is going to last three years. I warrant that. That means you promise it. And when that happens, you should just trade out the product instead of arguing with the customer. And I used to buy a lot of stuff at Best Buy, but this is like the fifth time in a number of years, actually the last couple of years, the microwave, the only reason we bought it there is because my wife wanted a white one and we couldn't find a white one anywhere. Otherwise, I never would have gotten it at Best Buy because I already didn't trust them. But this bothers me that this one microwave in three years, this is the third time it's totally failed and the third time I've had to argue and argue for months with management. And I've talked to corporate headquarters because after they sent me all the way around the bend to all these places, they sent me to corporate headquarters. And they sent me to a lady and she sounded really nice. Oh, sure, no problem. Oh, yeah, no problem. Oh, but we can't help you on that. So finally I said, okay, you can't help me on that. Like, you're not going to trade it out? Well, not unless you pay basically the same price again in warranty costs and in upgrade pricing because they raised the price. So I'm like, can I talk to a manager? Because this just doesn't sound right. She's like, nope, we can't. you can't talk to a manager. Like, there's nobody I can talk to above you. No, we're not allowed to refer anyone to elevate any cases. Like, so what you're telling me is Best Buy does not honor their warranties. Like, Best Buy doesn't care about their customers. And she's like, well, that's not what I'm saying, sir. It is what you're saying. Because when I pay for a warranty saying your product is going to last three years and, and three times, I have to get a new one and I have to pay extra for them <laughs> after I've already paid for the warranty. Like, I'm sorry, but I, it's a good thing that I'm more calm than I look. Because if I was kind of the typical person in America these days, I think I'd toss that thing through the front window. <laughs> and, but I'm just telling you, don't ever shop at Best Buy. Don't ever buy a warranty there. Buy every. I, we've been buying a lot more from Amazon, even though I hate to buy everything from Amazon. But we've been buying a lot more from Amazon that we used to buy at Best Buy because Best Buy keeps giving us the runaround. And when I spend, I, I don't know, I should look to see before Tara started rolling. I don't know she was going to do that. But I should look to see how much the warranty cost, but it was ridiculously expensive. It was almost the price of the microwave. dollar microwave. Yeah, it was close and to the same price as the microwave. To have to do that, plus spend hours and hours and hours over many days to try to get it fixed for a handle that should have been right on the microwave to begin with. I mean, if you don't, if you don't, if you're not prepared to stand behind your product, you shouldn't be selling people warranties for three years when you have no intention of honoring that warranty. Or when you want to say, look at the fine print, and the fine print says, actually, just kidding, this warranty isn't worth anything, and we're not going to give you anything if the problem happens. So that's ridiculous. And you people should be ashamed of yourselves, if Best Buy, if you're watching this, is that it's total baloney that you say, oh, well, the, the fine print says, well, what they're saying is that the fine print says you'll get your purchase price back. Uh, so you raise the price on the exact same model. All right, so what we want you guys to do, Best Buy, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're nothing but liars and thieves. And we want all of our viewers, you guys, share this with hashtag Best Buy because we want them to know what a scammy company they are. And we have a million people between our email list, our website, and all of our social media. And we want all of you guys sharing this because companies like this get by with it, 
because people don't get upset about it. And we want you to share this over everything with hashtag Best Buy. Please share this. This is wrong and it's stealing. And then go to our website, livingonadime.com and check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook because we stand by our cookbooks. We'll see you guys next time.